Okay, this is the sound dialog, the Windows sound dialog. As you can see, the only thing that is showing up is my sound card because none of my USB devices are yet plugged in. Now I've plugged in the desktop microphone, which is the VEC GN USB. Notice that the Realtek High Definition Audio is set as the default device currently. You can see both of them bouncing on the right. That's letting you know that they are receiving input. Now we've plugged in the stereo Andrea USB and you can see that it is seen as the microphone array Andrea stereo USB mic. Now we've plugged in the Pure Audio, which is seen as the microphone array Andrea Com USB SA headset by the Windows 10 operating system. You can see that bar is also bouncing as I speak. Now we've plugged in the Sound Blaster X5 Go Pro. This is what I use as my voice track. Now we've plugged in the C Media USB headphone set. And there's a little two in front of it. That means this is the second port I've used to plug it in. To set the Realtek as the default device, we right click on it and we click on set as default device. We can also right click and set it as the default communication device, which is um, what you need to do to have it work when you're Skyping with someone. We always want to choose our sound card as the default. We're going to go to the playback tab, and you should almost always have your sound card set as the default playback device. I have the USB, the 3 USB audio device as my sound device right now because it's nice and loud, but I can change that at any point in time. And you should always have your sound card set as your default device. Okay, now that we understand what USB devices are available and what they look like in Windows 10, we're actually going to talk about the sound setup. So from the SpeechCat main menu, we're going to click on the gray speaker. And that's going to take us to the SpeechCat sound setup. And the SpeechCat sound setup is, is probably the most confusing thing in SpeechCat. But once you understand how it works, it's not that difficult. The first thing we're going to talk about is the number of channels. You can record up to five channels. That's the voice track and four more channels after that. So five in total. And with Digitran, you can record six. But in SpeechCat, the max is five. So I can do that using only three USB devices. I have the number of channels set to four. I can set it to less by clicking on the minus button. As you can see that these others have been grayed out, but the voice track is the only one that's black. That's because that's the only channel I've selected. If I click on the plus button, I can have all of these channels to configure. So I'm going to start with the voice track. So to the right of the word name, I just click on the drop down and I select voice track. In my wave in device in the center under voice track, I'm going to select the device that I have created my Dragon user profile with. For me, that's the Sound Blaster X5, so that is what I've selected. In the format, you always want to select the mono option for your voice track so that Dragon can easily transcribe from your spoken word. Let's move on to channel one. I always set channel one as a room mic because that is where your playback defaults to, is channel one. And so if you want to hear your voice first, you would want to select 
the voice backup track here, but I always like it to do the room track for the first channel. So I've selected from the drop down room mic one. I am using a stereo Andrea device with a red and white splitter to record both room mic one and room mic two. Because I've selected that, the waving device has to be the exact same, same for both of these channels. And both of these channels must be set to the stereo option. For my channel three, I'm setting that as my voice backup track. And that is going to be set to the Pure Audio. And this is a newer Pure Audio device. And it's seen as the Andrea Com USDSA. And that's going to be my backup voice track. So I want that to be mono as well. Because I'm only recording one channel on this track. I'm going to go ahead and select a room mic 3, and for channel 4, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my Realtek High Definition. That's my internal sound card. I don't really have to plug anything into it. It will just record the room audio, so it's a nice backup that doesn't require a mic. Because I'm only recording one channel on it, I'm going to set it to mono. Now that I've got everything looking the way I want it to look, I'm going to click on Apply. And when you do that, then you can see the bars bouncing on all of the tracks. The bars are bouncing least on my voice track, and that's in my voice backup track, and that's because I'm not speaking into my mask right now. Um, you'll notice that my room mic 3 is bouncing into the red. That so I'm going to lower the volume a little bit until I see that it's bouncing, um, but it's staying in the green, and that's exactly what I want. So I'm going to click on Apply, and then I'm going to go up to, to the upper left-hand corner, and I'm going to click on the second icon, which is Save as New Configuration. And I'm going to call it Adria Voice. Voice backup in three rooms. And I'm going to click on OK. Should I ever want to load this configuration because something got thrown out of whack, I can just click on Load from Configuration and select the one that I want. And the one that I want is the one I've just set. So I'm going to click on Load. And as you can see, it is just as I said it. So I'm ready to go ahead and test. The big red button at the top is how we test. Click on the button one time and speak into your mask for about 10 seconds. Then we're going to speak aloud into the room to test those tracks. So here we go. Okay, now I'm just going to test into the room, testing, testing. This is a test of my room microphones on channel 1, 2, and 4. Testing, testing, this is a test. So I'm going to click on the red, red button to stop the recording. And I'm going to click on the play button beneath the voice track. Testing, testing, this is a test. Testing, testing, this is a test. Okay, that's good. So now I'm going to listen to my voice backup track. Of the voice and voice backup track. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a test. Okay, now I'm just going to test into the room. Testing, testing. This is a test of my room microphones on channel one, two, and four. Testing, testing. This is a test. So I'm going to click on the red, red button to stop. Okay, so I'm going to rewind just a little bit. Oops, I'm going too far. And now I'm going to hit play beneath the mic too. Okay, now I'm just going to test into the room. Testing, testing. This is a test of my room microphones. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to stop that playback and I'm going to 
Jesus on channel 1, 2, and 4. Testing, testing, this is a test. So I'm going to click on the red. Okay, so I know now that everything is good. I like the way it sounds. So I'm just going to click on close. Which will take me back to the main menu. And I'm done with sound setup. And I'm ready to go into either real time, record, plug, or captioning. 